What up everyone, Clayton here, and today we're back with another Skyrim build. Today's build is called The Flash. The Flash is an assassin who uses shouts to make his assassinations quick and deadly. The build is either a Nord or a Breton, whatever you choose for the race, and the backstory is really up to you. My only thing is that he used to be a beggar, and how he became an assassin is up to you. The Flash's skills are Restoration, Alteration, Enchanting, One-Handed, and Sneak. For restoration, he needs to be able to stay alive, and he uses a lot of stamina, so respite's pretty good to be able to heal yourself and get your stamina back. Alteration is also very good for this build, since you will not be using any sets of armor. You'll be using ragged cloth, uh, beggar outfits, because you used to be a beggar before you became an assassin. So you want to make sure you get points in alteration, so you can cast flesh spells to keep yourself alive. Enchanting is here, so you can enchant your jewelry, either for more damage, more health, stamina, or any other stat you really think you need. One handed is important because you'll be using dual wield, make sure you can swing as fast as you can get the dual wield perks. And sneak is also very important because this build is a sneak build. Before we get into how you play this build, we're going to talk about the weapon and armor real quick. For the weapons, I use ebony swords. You can use any other sword you really want, but you want to be able to use swords because they swing the fastest, and that way you can, you know, be the flash of lightning strike down the enemies real quickly and then move on. For the armor, I use beggar outfit, beggar clothes, anything that's not light or heavy armor. Since you'll be using a lot of alteration for flesh spells, you can't use any armor because it'll negate some of the bonuses that you get from the alteration tree. Also, jewelry of your choice is also recommended. You can enchant that stuff and do whatever you really want with it. I recommend getting the Talos amulet or the amulet of Talos because you'd be using all that shouts and it's good to be able to get those on a short cooldown so you can use them very often. So one more thing is the spells and the shouts that you'll be using for this build. The spells that you'll be using is any kind of flesh spell to keep yourself alive. Paralyze is also a really good alteration spell. That way you can paralyze some enemies, maybe you're not supposed to kill them, and uh, keep them down on the ground so you can fight other people individually. Also for shouts, it is really important to have Elemental Fury and Whirlwind Sprint because these are your abilities that make you that flash of lightning where you like teleport on the battlefield with whirlwind sprint and then you attack very quickly with the elemental fury. So I really recommend getting those shouts and it's pretty pivotal for this build. So for the gameplay, how does this really work? So this build is more of an assassin, like I've said before. You want to sneak around the map, sneak through dungeons and things of that nature. But when you actually come upon people, you want to strike from the shadows lightning quick. So either you run in with whirlwind sprint and you get right on top of the people and then you do or power attack them down with your dual wield swords or you sneak in assassinate a target and then turn you on your elemental fury that way you can strike as qu quickly as you can and dispatch all your enemies that you can but before going into battle make sure you always get your alteration cloak up that way you can take some damage as well as make sure you have magicka for paralyze because paralyze is really good if you're fighting big groups of enemies that you can't all nuke down at once but one tip is with Elemental Fury, you cannot use enchanted weapons with that, so you want to make sure your swords that you're using are not enchanted. So make sure to remember that if you're going to use this build. And uh, Elemental Fury is like the most overpowered shout in the entire game. You can nuke down dragons in seconds, so I don't think you have a problem with nuking down any of your enemies. One last major thing I want to talk about is for this build, you want to have pretty much all your points in the stamina. The reason why you want to do this is that you want to be able to run around the battlefield, power attack, as quickly as you can. You don't want to run out of stamina, and uh, it's kind of more of a stamina build to be honest. If there was the acrobat perk, or the acrobat skill line in this game, you definitely go into it because you're going to be running around the battlefield, dodging arrows, dodging spells, power attacking all over the place. So I recommend probably a 15-15-70 split between your stats, so that means 15% of your points in the magicka. 15% to health and then the 70% in the stamina so you really want to make sure you get your enchantments to be able to balance those out so that way you can cast your alteration spells and make sure you have health to stay alive during fights so hopefully you guys enjoyed this build if you did make sure to check out these two builds here and uh yeah sorry for the lack of builds i just haven't really found any builds that really jumped out at me i had a lot of fun playing this build and making it so hopefully you guys will enjoy it too and uh, if you guys have any recommendations for builds make sure to leave them down in the comments down below Anyways, thank you guys so much for watching, and it's Clayton, signing out.